Well, a very good afternoon to all, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the landmark auction of number 31A Carlton Parade here in Torrensville. This is an exciting property, an architectural renaissance handcrafted and designed for the modern visionary. Four years ago, our current vendor, Larry Pisani, who just happens to be one of Adelaide's most prominent builder architects, saw this congregational church in its original condition for sale for the very first time since it was built in 1935, and immediately he had a vision to create something truly unique. That vision was to set a new benchmark in Adelaide urban living whilst creating a thriving living sanctuary that would inspire him whilst he lived within it. And as I look around the audience, I don't think anyone would disagree that yes, he has certainly achieved that. By way of introduction, my name is Phil Harris. I am truly excited to be your auctioneer this afternoon. And together with Gary Top, we do proudly represent the firm of Toop and Toop Real Estate, your licensed agents and auctioneers for this afternoon's proceedings. Very briefly, before I ask you for your bids, because I do know numerous people looking forward to that part of the auction, a couple of things I will be doing. I am just going to quickly price you through the contract of sale and the terms and conditions. Upon completing those, I'll welcome any questions you may have and we'll certainly get underway with that exciting part, which is indeed your bidding. For your own confidence here today, the property will be offered under the standard terms and conditions set out by the Society of Auctioneers and Appraisers and the Real Estate Institute. That alone should only encourage your bidding here this afternoon. The contract of sale, the Section 7 statement, they've all been available here on site for your perusal for the last half an hour or so, as well as the last three clear business days at our offices. The legal description of the property is Lot 1 Primary Community Plan 22743 in the area named Torrensville, in the Hunter of Adelaide, comprising a certificate of title, Register Book Volume 5935, Folio 15. Chattels passing with the property, all fixed floor coverings, light fittings, window treatments, the fireman's pole, dishwasher and the intercom system. Excluded from the sale will be all the vendor's personal effects, non-standard telephones, loose furniture, potted plants and the projector and the projector screen in the family room. The terms and conditions we're selling under, they're very straightforward. They don't vary at all from auction to auction. The property is offered subject to a reserve price. The highest bidder shall upon the fall of a hammer be the purchaser only where that highest bid is at or above the reserve price. As the purchaser, you will be required to step forward, execute a contract, Pay a deposit of 10% with the residue of the purchase price payable upon settlement, which ha settlement has been put down for Monday the 18th day of June. Now I do know that numerous people do have variations regarding settlement dates and deposits. Provided you've had that in writing, you do have the vendor's approval. So please, bid with the utmost of confidence here today. Now today I want to make it very clear you are bidding for two specific reasons. One is of course for outright purchase on the property. And the other is that in the event that that reserve price is not being met, we are going to negotiate exclusively with the highest bidder. So please, don't hold back with your bidding here this afternoon. As the auctioneer, I do reserve the right to make one or more bids up to, but not including the reserve price. These bids, if any, they will clearly be declared as being vendor bids by myself, the auctioneer. Cool and off rights, of course, don't apply at a sale by public auction. And upon the fall of the hammer, the property is at the risk of the purchaser. So accordingly you will need to take out an immediate covered over insurance on the property as you will have an equitable interest in the home. Any person bidding shall be personally bound by your bids made during the auction and finally as the auctioneer I do reserve the right to arbitrate a disputed bid and my determination it shall be final and binding. So ladies and gentlemen, in essence that is the contract of sale and the terms and conditions. It is of my opinion that they are both precise and fair. Are there any questions at all before I ask you one important question, which is what am I bid, what am I offered? Yes, sir, Mr Auctioneer. Um, I'm presuming this building can be used as both an office and a residence, and is it being sold on a GST inclusive or exclusive basis, and I'm a company and I wish to apply the margin scheme? That's a fantastic question, ma'am. I appreciate you raising the issue. First, though, in regards to using commercial use, the property is zoned residential. However, that is allocated per square metre of uh, commercial use from the council. So provided you comply with the square metres from the council, that's certainly a possibility for you. In regards to the GST, we are selling GST inclusive. And what was the third part of that question? The margin scheme? The margin scheme? Uh, no. The purchase price will be the purchase price here today. You need to take that up with your accountant. So does that cover your question for you? 
Good luck with bidding here today. Hope it goes well for you. Any other questions at all? Uh, yes, Mr Auctioneer, I'm bidding on behalf of my mum and dad who are in Brisbane at the moment. I don't want to sign the contract and uh, they'll be back in Adelaide on Monday. Is it okay if they sign then? That's a very good question, sir. Unfortunately, sir, if you are bidding on behalf of uh, those people, you will need to actually sign the contract and or nominees if you are successful here today. Otherwise, you could step forward and sign a proxy bidding form, but they would need to be here at the Fall of the Hammer to sign the contract. So, sir, you'd need to bid under those conditions. Does that cover your question, sir? Oh, I think so. Thank you. Good luck with your bidding if you choose to do so, sir. Any other questions at all, ladies and gentlemen? Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a property. Style, history, craftsmanship and sophistication. Four words that encapsulate the very essence of living in this iconic landmark property. If we didn't first fully understand the magnitude of interest in inquiry this property would generate when we first listed the home for sale, well, we know it now because quite simply, you the buyers, you've told us. It has quite literally been an avalanche of inquiry after inquiry, and it's not hard to see why when you look at the lifestyle, location and facilities that are all available on your doorstep when you buy today. Take a moment to think of the floor plan, where literally no expense has been spared from those magnificent porcelain tiling throughout the hardwood polished Jarrah floors and indeed the exquisite lead light retaining its original character. Pretty special, isn't it? Just moments ago, I was having a brief chat with our vendor as to what it was they were going to miss the most about living in such a luxurious property. And I was surprised to find that it wasn't so much the exquisite accommodation that so many people have spoken about over the last three to four weekends. People have mentioned the three generous sized bedrooms the upstairs award-winning master bathroom with dual shower and handcrafted quality European fixtures and fittings. Not even the stunning kitchen, Caesar stone bench tops, European stainless steel appliances. But what he'd missed the most was the lifestyle and the memories. You see, he had fond memories of holding balmy, on balmy summer evenings, holding dinner parties with 15 to 20 of his closest friends. The cafe shutter doors flung wide open that bring the outside in and the inside out, entertaining in absolute quality and style. He told me of one time when 15 of his friends had gathered around that magnificent dining table and he quickly just slipped his way upstairs, or as he would like to call it, his very own private stairway to heaven. Made it through to the master suite, to the rear wardrobe where the secret doorway is, where he'd prepare himself to thrust his way down the fireman's pole, making the most grandest of entries that one could only ever dream of at a dinner party. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today, all this can be yours. For some of us though, I guess this property represents a new and exciting lifestyle. And just the very thought of living in the heart of this thriving cosmopolitan location is the reason I know that so many people are back here once again today. I mean, just five minutes down the road, you might find yourself sitting in the heart of Henley Square, perhaps at Zoots, just casually sipping on a latte, gazing out over those magnificent ocean views. For others, in just 15 minutes from leaving your front door, you might find yourself in the heart of the thriving Adelaide CBD, occupying your